Instagram accounts get hacked every single day and most people don't even realize how much of their personal data is being tracked on those Instagrams. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a new Instagram account if you don't have one, lock it down, stop the trackers, and make it as private and as safe as possible, step by step. Let's go. Okay, so first off, we're gonna to go to Instagram.com. Now, I don't have an Instagram. If you have an Instagram, you can obviously go ahead and skip past this part, but I'm gonna go ahead and sign up for Instagram right now. They're gonna need some info, obviously. You can log in with Facebook up here if you already have a Facebook, which will connect the two. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this information out I will note that when I make the password, I'm gonna make a nice long password. That's something I don't usually use, something that's hard to guess, something that people aren't gonna easily just figure out. So let me fill this out and I'll be with you in just a moment. So aside from just putting in a little bit of personal information, creating a password, and then getting a code from my email to finalize the creation of the account, this has been pretty straightforward. Now. Instagram just wants me to prove that I'm a human. So now that we're in the account, you can see this more option right here on the left side, okay? The more is gonna give us the settings, okay? Now, once we're in here, this is where we can do all of the damage, all the things that we wanna do today. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop into the password and security section here. And I'm gonna make sure to go to password and security again here on the left side and turn on two-factor authentication. Now, this is huge. This is one of the first things that you wanna do anytime you make any account, uh, but social media accounts, especially because of how much they get hacked, okay? Microsoft email accounts also equally as important. Get two-factor authentication set up, okay? Now, what that means is that I need a secondary method like an app or a text message to my phone in order to get into my account, okay? So that would mean for example, if I use the authentication app, somebody like a hacker tries to get into my account from another computer somewhere else, they would need the code that's going to go to that authentication app and or my SMS, right? Because I can do text message, okay? So right now, I'm just gonna set it for SMS for the video. However, if you're planning on making an Instagram and you want it to be very safe, you want long-term security, authentication app is gonna be your go-to. I don't plan to keep on this account after the video. So I'm just gonna do SMS. Now, if you can't do the app for any reason, SMS, at least at minimum, you wanna make sure you have, okay? So they're gonna try to send me a code now to my phone to get that set up. I'm gonna grab my cell phone, which I have here in my hand. I just got the text message, I heard it come in, and I can put the code in the box. Hit next. And now, once that's set up, two-factor two authentication is now on. My account just got 100 times more secure or 1,000 times safer, I would say 1,000 times safer than it was without having this, okay? My account was a wide open door for anybody to come in and take without uh, two-factor authentication on, okay? So that's super important to do, okay? While you're in here, you should note that you can check to see where you're logged in from and so it shows where I'm blocking it out again. I'm blocking out some personal info because it shows exactly where I am, like my location. Super important. If you think somebody got into your Instagram or you want to just check from time to time to make sure you're not hacked, go into there, see where you're logged in from and make sure that you um, recognize those logins. OK, so this has been the first step into creating your or making your account way more secure two factor authentication checking your logins from time to time. That's huge, okay? You're gonna rule out about, like I said, ton, tons of uh, ways that people could take your account or, or there's a lot of different ways that people could do it, but with just that on, you just ruled out about half of them, okay? All right, so after 2FA is set up, let's jump back to settings and let's make our account private, more secure, and make sure we're not getting all these ridiculous ads that you, know, you might get all these pop-ups and notifications, okay? So right near the top, you have that notification section. You can come in here for push notifications, make sure those are off. I don't like notifications. I don't like getting constantly told that I'm getting things or whatever. So I'm gonna turn all these off, right? And you can do the same thing. Come in here, turn all these things off, okay? 
The next thing on the left side here in that menu is this account privacy option. This one is huge. After you get your notifications turned off that you want, come in here and I strongly recommend toggling your account to private if you're somebody who enjoys your privacy. This is gonna make it so only the people who you follow, your followers or who are following you, will be able to see your photos and videos. And you can always remove people who you don't want following you. You can unfollow people who you followed. So this gives you a lot of control over who sees what you're doing, what you're posting and everything going on on your Instagram. So I'm gonna to switch to private. Now I have a private account. Very important two steps to do there. Turning off those notifications, and then turning your account into a private account, okay? Now, as far as in here, there's other options as far as getting, you know, getting it the way you want it set up. But ultimately, I wanna hop back into the account center one time here, the Meta Account Center, and talk about the ad preferences, okay? Ads are everywhere now. We've talked about this in past videos, lots of videos talking about blocking ads, stopping ads, things like that. Meta actually does give you a decent amount of control. You're always going to see ads using their products because that's how they get paid. However, you don't want them tracking you so that they can give you personalized ads, custom ads, things like that. You can come in here and you can manage the information that they're able to take from you in order to show you ads. Now, again, you're always gonna get ads using these social media platforms because that's how they get paid you can come in here and make it so that they can't make the ads more relevant by tracking you because uh, that's what they were doing they'd be tracking everything you do right off the bat um, you kind of again we're not an opt in country some some in some countries like europe um, companies have to make it so you opt in to some of this stuff in here in america we have to opt out of this stuff by default we are usually already going to be uh, tracked once we sign up for something. So they're going to be trying to show us these personalized ads. How do they make personalized ads? Well, they can't make a personalized ad without personally knowing you. So they have to take your personal information in order to, um, to do that, right? So come in here, turn all this stuff off, make it so that they are not tracking you as, as hard, okay? That is going to be a big, big one for making it so that you're not seeing all those annoying advertisements that you'll get especially for local stuff where it makes you feel kind of creeped out like why are they uh, how do they know where i'm at and things like that well that's because this is all turned on so come in here turn it all off get yourself a little bit more private make your account more private okay okay everyone so that's that's it except for the last step which is that ongoing monthly um, maintenance or the ongoing safety because safety is not a one-time thing it's a, a habit that you really have to maintain. So you don't wanna be clicking on strange DMs or links on Instagram. That would be part of the ongoing safety. Uh, changing your password from time to time, especially if anything feels off about your account. And then reviewing those settings that we just went through, especially the login activity. That's a tool that Instagram leaves there for you to be able to make sure nobody's getting in who shouldn't, okay? And that's about it. Your Instagram is now safer, more private, and way harder to hack, okay? Just off those few things we did, 2FA, especially through the application being a huge one, reviewing those security settings, making your account private, and adjusting those ad settings and notifications so you're also not being tracked and annoyed by your Instagram account, okay? Now, again, like I said, there's always going to be ads. And there's always gonna be hackers trying to steal accounts on uh, social media platforms like Instagram, but you are a little bit safer in the water now. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it and share it with anybody who needs it, especially somebody you know who has an Instagram account. And if you're having video, uh, any issues with the video, things that you saw in it, or if you're having issues with your tech, your social media accounts, whatever, reach out to us here at My Computer Works. Our number is at the beginning, at the end of the video, and down in the description. We'd be happy to help. Thank you, everyone, and be safe out there.